So let us look at pre and post conditions. Let's type up our repl.rplet and create a Python repl.rplet pre and post conditions. So we're going to name it and let's create the repl.rplet. All right, so our precondition depends on what the user supplies, okay? We need correct information to get correct output. So let's say we wanted to double a number. Let's create a function to double a number, All right? So it's going to take a number is going to multiply that number by two, whatever that number is, okay? So num multiplied by two. All right, so let's come up with that function definition. And the user would call the function to double the number. So they would be expected to use the function name and pass the argument, let's say, for example, 50. So if we run this program with the correct argument supplied there, we get 100. Uh, we probably could have said something about this, but uh, we'll just leave it at that. So if they, for example, put uh, a string, right? So the precondition means we're expecting an integer in this case, right? So let me put a comment here. We are expecting a number. Well, it can be a integer or a float, all right? Not a string. So when we run this, we see that it does something unusual, right? We're not getting, we're expecting to see a hundred, right? So we expected output should be a value but it was not right we're having the word 50 being repeated twice okay and that's because we didn't get the correct output so that's a precondition example all right let's look at a post condition example so for post condition once we have the correct output we're expecting the function or code to do what it is supposed to do what is what it is designed for all right so let's look at a function that will uh, greet a user let's see. okay so greet user and it's expecting um, let's have a name and let's have a greeting all right so we're taking two um, we'll have two parameters there it's going to take two arguments right then we will print maybe we should have the greeting first so let me put the greeting first and then name so I'll put, I'll put it in that order all right so greeting name all right, so we're going to print the greeting and then a name. So let me just add that greeting plus. Uh, let's put some blank space there for when we print the name and um, name. Okay, so if we let, let, let's let it. Um, work out the first time by giving it um, all the correct input. Uh, let's say um, hi there is going to be one and let's 
starts with Johnny's name. So if we run this, says hi there, John. All right, now we actually uh, th th this this function does not violate the post condition. It's actually doing what it's supposed to be doing. Okay, so um, if we did something like um, modify it, so let's modify this. Alright, so it can't have a syntax error. Um, Alright, so what we're going to do is the program it's saying how are you doing so the program works but it doesn't greet the user and it's not because we supplied the wrong information okay so the user supplied the correct information however the function does not greet the user as was intended. So what 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 should have happened is let, let's do a correct version of the function. Let me just copy this. Whoops, that's not what I wanted to do. And just just to show you what the function should look when it's doing what it's properly supposed to be doing. Um, we we would actually use the parameters. Right? And then it would actually greet the user. Okay. So in other words, what we're basically seeing here is that the function was not designed properly. That's essentially what we're seeing. Let me put the second argument. So if we run this, you see the um, second version of the function, this works properly. This doesn't violate any post condition. So this one is fine. But uh, the function that prints, the first um, first version of greet user prints how are you doing, which is not using the greeting that the user supplied. It did not use hi there, it did not use John. Um, so this one is, is creating an issue with post condition, right? It's not doing what it's supposed to be doing. All right, so this is a simple example of what pre and post conditions are about. So you just need to make your own examples that are unique. Um, you should be able to make three of them for either pre or post condition.